I work on humanitarian studies, especially in the field of humanitarian aid, in the field of humanitarian governance. My biggest project here in ISS is about situations where you have disasters that are more caused by natural hazards such as earthquakes, floods, high winds, drought. But they are happening in a conflict situation and that is a very special case because how are you dealing with disasters when at the same time there is a conflict going on and how do the disasters affect the conflict dynamics. Earlier this year we went to Bangladesh, to Cox's Bazar, to see the Rohingya the population from Myanmar, but they are being expelled from their own country. And that has been going on, discrimination for quite some time, so people would trickle into Bangladesh. But then a few years ago, suddenly the army in Myanmar really stepped up the efforts to chase the Rohingya away, and then they massively had to go to Bangladesh, where they put up large, large camps, where they're living in terrible conditions, in small tents, with very little prospects on how to change the situation for the better in the near future. Interestingly, Bangladesh is very good at reacting to disaster, but then we are more talking about disasters related to high storm winds. They know how to evacuate people on time, they know how to service them around the time that they are evacuated until they can go back. So we anticipated that Bangladeshi, the same organizations, would also be heavily involved in the care for the Rohingya population. However, there we found that it is mainly international organizations who are doing it. So that was for us quite a riddle, especially in a time when the international organizations always say that they would like to work with local partners. What we try to achieve with this type of research is that we can influence governments, local governments, as much as the international organizations of humanitarianism. So we will present this to organizations of the United Nations, and NGOs to make them reflect again like, okay, if we are serious about Southern partnerships, what should we do differently? Because this is not the way to realize it.